Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live from the Sweet and Snack Show, and we're here with Steve Savage. He runs Thrive Tribe, and you guys have a couple other brands too. And I want to hear Steve. Um, the origins. What was the first product okay. you came up with? Yeah, so the parent company's 1908 Brands, and our first brand was Boulder Clean. And Boulder Clean was a, a spin off of my previous company, Eco Products. And so when Eco Products sold in 2012, uh, the acquiring company of that compostable disposable food service company didn't really want Boulder Clean. So I started 1908 Brands. Uh, because Boulder Clean was a great brand in over 1,500 retailers, and it's something I wanted to continue, so I started 1908 Brands, and Boulder Clean was our first, and is currently our biggest brand. So why 1908? What's that? So 1908 is a story that goes back in my family. Uh, my great-great-uncle, William Kent, uh, purchased and donated 300 acres of red wood trees, um, 300 acres of land, and to Teddy Roosevelt in the U.S. Oh. government, and that is now called the Muir's National Woods, so it's a national park just outside San Francisco. That's awesome. <laughs> so why do you think they didn't want Boulder Clean? Uh, well, there, it's a disposable food uh, cup and plates, bowls, clamshells, so it's a food service uh, yeah. company that bought Boulder or eco products, um, and though, so they didn't want cleaning products. It's kind of like Solo Cup Company. It'd be weird yeah. if Solo Cup Company had laundry detergent. Similar, similar philosophy. Totally. So, what was uh, the popular food product? The next popular food product that right. you came out with? So, in 2013, we decided we wanted to get into food brands. So, our first purchase, ironically, was called Holy Bites and which is now Thrive Tribe. So when we bought Holy Bites, it was f four flavors of bites. Uh, we rebranded it under Thrive Tribe because we didn't love the name Holy Bites. And we added four more flavors of bites, so a total of eight different flavors of bites. And now we have four different cookies, four different flavored coconut chips, and four bars. So what are the most popular um, cookies and most popular of the, the bites? Yeah, uh, vanilla, almond, and cacao are probably our two most popular bites. Vanilla almond is uh, spreading in Costco right now. Um, cacao, either people love it or they don't based upon their chocolate affiliation. And Yeah, so vanilla almond was a, kind of a safer flavor for more customers. So that's what Costco went with. Uh, so it's really cacao or vanilla almond. In uh, the cookies, we have... Our newest flavor, chocolate brownie. So we replace chocolate mint with chocolate brownie. And that is just amazing. If you can picture the corner piece of your brownie tray, the one that's uh, like cooked the most, totally. that's exactly what that tastes like. So it is, uh, even though it's new, it's now our fastest yeah. growing and most uh, purchased for one of our cookies. So Steve, talk about your philosophy on health because these are very healthy products, right? right? And they're all paleo. Um, so did you start off just eating very healthy or what, what's your philosophy on what you put into these products? Right. So, uh, yes, I mean, I eat pretty well. Um, you know, we do have, uh, lots of employees and a food chemist, uh, you know, that really knows these products inside and out. So they know it even better than I, but I, I eat well. Um, most of our products are totally innovative. So this is really the first paleo snack that's gluten-free, grain-free, and dairy-free. And all those categories, paleo's growing, grain-free, so a lot of people are starting to realize that grains are not really good for your body, especially processed totally. grains. Yeah. Um, that's why you're tired after lunch, is because your body's having yeah. so much trouble processing your yeah. breads that you ate at lunch. Uh, yeah, grain, totally. Grains came from the um, 
agriculture, you know, that's what cows ate. Um, and since it's filling and it's cheap, the, you know, the food industry has taken to it. Uh, so that's what humans are eating. We're, and really they shouldn't. So grains, um, another trend, you know, dairy restrictions, uh, dairy free. Um, and gluten-free. So all yeah. four of those categories are yeah. really popular. Yeah, I mean, I've interviewed Dr. Lauren Cordain, and what people don't know is, you know, he's a PhD researcher for 30 years, and that's right. where he came up with a lot of this for, for the paleo diet, um, so to speak. But so your roots, it seems like you've always been an entrepreneur. Yeah. Where does that come from? Um, you know, when I graduated from college in 1990, uh, I started Eco Products. And, you know, that was a 22-year ride until it sold, and then I started 1908 Brands. Um, I don't know, I've really only, you know, my resume's pretty simple. I've actually never even really needed to use it. Um, right. But I've been with two companies for my entire life, um, so I like to keep it simple. But when I get into something, I get into it 110%. Totally. And you guys are expanding overseas, too. We are. So Thrive Tribe is going into Costco and in Korea. Um, and Why Boulder, Korea, out of all the places? You know, they follow U.S. trends, and I would say Korea more than anywhere else, you know, South Korea. Um, and then it's also going into Costco and Taiwan, who similarly, they like, they have better diets than the U.S. Well, pretty much everyone has better diets than the U.S. It's a low bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a low bar. Um, but they follow, you know, the Asian market follows U.S. trends, and Thrive Tribe's one of the fastest growing uh, snack brands, if you look in IRI or SPINS data, it's growing rapidly for those reasons of, you know, the trends I was talking about. And then Boulder Clean is also going into Costco and Taiwan. We're already, both these brands are already in Costco in the U.S. And then Canada, so four of our brands, Schultz, Thrive Tribe, Fertivity, and Boulder Clean are going into 500 Loblaw locations. That actually happened at the beginning of this year. And then in, they're also going into Whole Foods up there, Longo's, Sobeys, and Choices Market, wow. and some other smaller independents. You're gonna be very busy. Um, two, two last questions. One, um, you know, from the outside it looks, I wouldn't say easy, but like there's an upward trajectory. Talk about some of the challenges. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Uh, 1908 Brands, we consider it, um, you know, a family of brands. If you look at our website, it talks a lot about family. We want to bring better products into your home. Uh, we think about each one of our brands has its, it's like your kids. They all have their strengths. They all have their challenges. Some have more strengths. Some have more challenges. Just think of our family having six kids and, um, you know, they're all, they're all growing up. Um, you know, we're learning things every month, every trade show. Uh, every time we talk to a buyer, you know, what is the market looking for? So in strengths, I think, you know, we're hitting trends. Obviously, this natural food category and natural products is yeah. growing at about 20% a year, where the food industry is flat, if only growing 1% or 2% a year. So natural foods is growing, uh, hitting certain um, diets, and, you know, with our newest brand, Three Bears, um, what about, talk about Three Bears. Well, Three Bears is free of the top eight allergens. So 40% uh, of the population today has um, an allergic reaction to one of those eight allergies. So we call Three, three Bears playing on the Goldilocks story of just right. You know, just right for you, just right nutritionally. Oh. Um, doesn't matter if you're allergic to, you know, grains or um, dairy. You know, you're going to be able to eat Three Bears. And um, so we're excited about that. There's bars, there's oatmeal cups. The oatmeal cups just went into 2,300 CVS locations. Uh, CVS just um, last week did a four foot set. It's go, called Go With Your Gut. So everything in that has probiotics in it. Three Bears has probiotics. Yeah. Uh, so Three Bears has squeeze packs and oatmeal cups and bars. Amazing, guys. Um, what about, last question, proud moment? You've had a, yeah, you've had a long journey as an entrepreneur, it's going to be longer, but you've sold companies, you've started companies. What's, what do you remember as a milestone that you're especially proud of? Um, I don't know like, if I have a pat yourself on the back moment yet. Well, see, that's the thing about entrepreneurs. You, you get a bottle of champagne right. for that moment, but then you never crack it off to celebrate. Right. Yeah. <laughs> was, there, was there a certain, um, I don't know, 
uh, retailer that you're excited about or a certain, uh, some kind of milestone that you hit with any of the companies? Right. So, I mean, when you get a purchase order from some big retailers, I mean, that's, that's a pat yourself on the back moment, and we're pretty excited about it. Just this week, you know, all six brands got into all the Albertsons and Safeway in the Rocky Mountain region, and we were celebrating. We went to happy hour, but, you know, when, when you talk about the, the work begins. Right, yeah, I mean, when you talk about uh, what will make me happy, it's really when these brands are bigger and, you know, it's the phone calls and the emails we get into our customer service saying, I, I love your product. My son can now eat this particular bar and we've been looking for solutions. Yeah. Those are really the moments that I become the most proud is when yeah. we, you know, we solve people's problems on their dietary restrictions and give them, you know, a healthy alternative at, you know, a delicious and nutritious totally. benefits. Yeah. So, point people, where can they find you online? Obviously, they can find you in, in different stores across the U.S. Where, where should they go online to check out more? Uh, of course, Amazon. And uh, we're, we're about halfway through uploading all our products through FBA on Amazon, okay. which I guess is just a technical term. But you can find most of our brands on Amazon, but more and more will be getting loaded up in the weeks to come. So, if you don't see it, today you know look back in a month each one, each brand has a website so you can go to where to find and put in your uh, zip code yeah. and it will tell you all the retailers in your locations thrive market's been a great partner of ours online um, so really amazon or thrive market and then there's some other websites but what's you know, your web parent website uh the parent website is 1908brands.com okay, cool go check out 1908brands.com live from the sweet and snack show what I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach.